That's why the Senate will reconvene on Tuesday, the day after the 4th. We'll do that because we have work to do. The President says he wants to get working, he wants us to get working. I can't think of a better way than to have him come right on over today. We're waiting. Fourth of July recess on hold as the debt negotiations continue. Meantime, Treasury Secretary Geithner just a few moments ago in Chicago answered a question about his future. There was a report that he may be wrapping things up with the administration after these negotiations. He said he'll be around for, quote, the foreseeable future. Don't know what that means, but let's bring in our panel to talk about it all. Fred Barnes, executive editor of the Weekly Standard. Kirsten Powers. The uh, columnist with the Daily Beast and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Fred, let's start with you. Obviously, the Senate is staying in, trying to hammer out this deal. What about the give and take here? Uh, well, there isn't a whole lot of it. I mean, I, I think this is purely cosmetic, this uh, decision of Harry Reid. And it was originally the idea of Senator Jeff Sessions of Alabama to, of to uh, truncate uh, the July 4th recess. I mean, they will not be on uh, July 4th actually here in negotiations. That won't be happening. In the, uh, uh, and, you know, there could have uh, been some talks today. Uh, uh, Mitch McConnell, in fact, did invite the president in to meet with Senate Republicans, but the president had to go to Philadelphia for two fundraisers. Uh, the president could, you know, he took over the whole negotiations last Friday. He could call and invite in. Uh, House Speaker John Boehner hadn't talked to Boehner, and of course, what is the hardest part of, of any deal? That will be getting it through the House. Now, the president, uh, well, not the president, but uh, he has accused the Republicans of not being serious, and uh, on the other hand, they have a very de detailed proposal still, uh, their budget that they passed, and Democrats don't have a budget. Uh, it would be helpful. I think if they actually passed the budget, they haven't in the past two years, then you have two things to compare. You know, and, and they have the month of, of July, Brett. They could actually have two budgets. Uh, they could have, have some hearings. Uh, they could have some debate. Uh, and they could work out a compromise that way, perhaps. And it would be in public view. It would bring the public in. You know, one of the things that's so unfortunate about what's going on is in, in this decision, whatever it, it's made on a deal, it's being made in secret talks. Uh, where the public isn't even yeah. a part of it. Uh, it would be nice to uh, uh, bring the public in and then uh, not have something where the public doesn't know anything about it and most of the members of Congress don't. It just sprung on them maybe late in July and said you have to vote on this in a couple days. That's not a good process. Well, what Harry Reid has done is a stunt. He'll call the Senate together. They will accomplish nothing. They have not passed a budget in 800 days. The Republicans are serious. They control the House and they passed a budget. The president had proposed a budget in February. It was so absurd, it added onto the debt. It was rejected in the Senate in 97 nothing. So if you're going to measure the, the seriousness here, and hearing Obama yesterday scold the Republicans uh, like a schoolmaster saying his children get the homework done on time, the Republicans have done homework. It's called a budget, and Obama has none. So I, I don't think any of this is going to eventuate in anything. Obama is holding out. He's running a campaign on the class warfare, and that's what he wants to stick to.